the whole had to be demolished. We were pretty shattered because the hall was used a lot, both by the community and outsiders. There was nowhere for people to congregate at all. Being chair of the community, I felt pretty stressed out. We did surveys of the town and found that the majority of the people thought it was an opportune moment to move forward. We started engaging with the council. QLDC were very good and they listened to what we had to say. And then it got on a roll and council sort of took the momentum of it worked out a plan. Every project has its challenges and this one is no exception. We started out with a very clear objective. We wanted to be a certified passive house. There was a lot of learning and testing and modelling. We had a couple of challenges with regard to the supply chain getting clogged up during Covid and we're right in the middle of the construction and we just couldn't stop. So we had to come up with a, a design solution. Every bolt that we put through the facade or every connection was designed, it was modelled, and then it was redesigned and remodelled until we got the right solution. The passive house record of air tightness in New Zealand is 0.1 air changes per hour. This building uh, achieved 0.49, that is under the 0.6 required for passive house certification. So it's just fantastic to demonstrate that it's possible within the usual procurement rules. This is otherwise a very conventional New Zealand building, but it's been done to the Passive House standard and is a demonstration that we don't have to accept rubbish anymore. We can build them better. We've got a beautiful facility that's been put here for us. It is lovely and warm to get the community back working here again. They've uh, included our, our honours board in the hall here to pride place. The old hall, they had very good acoustics. There was a lot of concern about retaining that in a new hall. There are pull around drapes which really improves the acoustics, you know, works really well for uh, music and other entertainment. It's absolutely top quality. Yeah, the toilets are space age, the kitchen is just amazing. We're blessed, I have to say. Credit to QLDC because it was a courageous decision to go for the Passive House certification and to stick with it and to take the community on that journey was a learning process for everybody on the project and everybody in the community. The energy efficiency side of this building is replicatable in everything we do. That we should be doing this in our housing, we should be doing this in our community facilities. It's raised standards of the design and the construction sector and what we should be delivering and to have a product that's ahead of its time for the community of Luggett I think is a pretty positive thing. The hall itself has that kind of warm feeling like you know you're coming into the heart of something and I think they've done a really good job of making it feel like the heart of the community.